A powerful block can be one of the most spectacular things you can ever see in the NBA. It can energize the entire arena and crush the soul of the offensive player and his team. Here are the 10 best shot blockers in NBA history. Number 10. Sean Bradley The 7'6 Sean Bradley is mostly known for his role in the original Space Jam and getting dunked on by every NBA star from the 90s and early 2000s. He was nicknamed Poster Boy because of how many times he got posterized, but that doesn't paint the whole picture and doesn't do justice to his shot-blocking prowess. For the first eight seasons of his career, Bradley averaged over three blocks in under 30 minutes per game. The Giant Center is also the all-time leader in block percentage, a stat that estimates the percentage of opponent field goal attempts blocked by the player while he was on the floor. In other words, Bradley was getting dunked on a lot, but he also rejected a lot of shots and altered many others, and he still remains among the all-time NBA leaders in career defensive rating. Number 9. Theo Ratliff from 1997 to 2004, Theo Ratliff averaged 3.3 blocks in just over 30 minutes per game. He led the league in blocks in three of those seven seasons. Ratliff was never a good scorer or even a good rebounder for a 6'10 center, but due to above-average mobility, strength, and ability to read the play and diagnose where the shot is coming from, blocking became his trump card and kept him in the league longer than his offense ever could. He retired with 2.4 blocks on average and is the second all-time in block percentage. Number 8. Patrick Ewing Patrick Ewing was a warrior, a Jamaican-born 7-foot big man who could just as easily play the role of a fighting bruiser and a skilled performer. Ewing had it all. Pat developed a great mid-range jump shot and a well-versed post-game, which made him a 20-point scorer for 13 consecutive seasons. He was also one of the best interior defenders in league history. Ewing averaged two or more blocks per game in each of his first 14 seasons and finished in the top five in blocked shots seven times. He averaged 2.45 rejections per game for his career and remains one of the best players that never won an NBA title. Number 7. Alonzo Mourning At 6'10", Alonzo Mourning wasn't a prototypical 90s center in terms of height, when the game was dominated by 7-footers like Shaq and David Robinson. But in terms of his fighting spirit, style of play, and mentality, Zoe was the embodiment of the 90s, the golden era of NBA centers. Mourning's career can be divided into two parts before and after he transplanted his kidneys. Before the kidney disease that sidelined him for almost two years, Zoe averaged 20 points, 10 boards, and three blocks from 1993 until 2002. He led the league in blocks two times in that span, won two Defensive Player of the Year awards, made seven All-Star teams, and nearly killed Jeff Van Gundy. His 2.8 blocks per game is the sixth best mark ever, and he's at the top of all blocking leaderboards. Number 6. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Kareem is the all-time leader in blocked shots, but this title comes with an asterisk, and he's officially only in third place. Why? The NBA first introduced blocks and steals as an official statistic for the 1973-74 season, Kareem's fifth season in the league. In the next 10 years, Jabbar averaged over three blocks per game, and he has led the league in rejections four times during that span. Due to his height, length, and mobility, Kareem was an effective rim protector even well into his 30s. So it's fair to assume he averaged at least three blocks per game in those first four years when he had a full head of hair and young athletic legs under him. More than likely, he averaged even more than three blocks. And if we added those four seasons to his tally, he'd have well over 4,000 total swats and would occupy the number one spot on the all-time list. Number 5. Manute Bull Standing at 7'7", seven seven, with an 8'6 wingspan, Manute Bull is the epitome of long and is tied with George Murison for the title of the tallest man in NBA history. Manute was a natural shot blocker with such physical attributes, which was also his only tangible basketball skill and why he logged NBA minutes in the first place. However, due to his thin 200-pound frame and underdeveloped skill set, Manute is the only player in NBA history who has more blocked shots than points scored. During his rookie season in 1986, Bull led the league with five blocks per game, and then again in 1989 with 4.3 rejections. He retired with 3.3 blocks per game on average, the second best mark ever, despite playing only 18.7 minutes per game. If we look at blocked shots per 100 possessions, Manute is the all-time leader and by a wide margin. Number 4. Dikembe Mutombo Dikembe Mutombo, Mpulando Makamba, Jean-Jacques Watt Mutombo is a really long name, but the list of names he blocked in the NBA is way longer. 
Matumbo came into the NBA at the age of 25 as a defensive powerhouse, and because of his great shot blocking ability, he was able to survive as a role player well into his 40s. At 7'2", with great mobility, coordination, and long arms, Dikembe was the fear and loathing of everyone trying to score in the paint against him. Mount Matumbo led the league in total blocks for five seasons in a row in the 90s, and he won four Defensive Player of the Year awards, tied for most all-time. During his prime, almost every NBA player got on the receiving end of the famous Matumbo finger wag, which became his trademark celebration after a shot rejection. With 3,289 total blocks, Dikembe is second on the all-time blocking list. Number 3. David Robinson David Robinson's body looked like it was made with CGI for a Marvel movie. Chiseled out, with every muscle popping out, he was one of the best athletes to ever play on NBA hardwood. At 7'1", he could run the floor like a deer and jump out of the gym with a unique blend of agility and athleticism. Unlike some other players on this list, who were mainly known for shot blocking, the Admiral had no holes in his game and was as potent offensively as he was stingy defensively. In his first seven years in the league, before he injured his knee and before his production somewhat decreased, Robinson was statistically the best all-around player in the NBA. During that time, he averaged 25 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists, almost 2 steals, and 3.6 blocks per game. In 1992, he led the league in blocks with 4.5 on average, and in 1994, he became the fourth and the last player to notch a quadruple double in an NBA game, with 34 points, 10 boards, 10 dimes, and 10 blocks. The Admiral is in the top 10 on all blocking leaderboards, including total blocks, blocks per game, block percentage, and career defensive rating. Robinson is also the all-time NCAA leader for blocks in a single season with 207, a record that still stands the test of time since 1986. Number 2. Mark Eaton you can't teach height, goes the old saying, but for a 7'4 Mark Eaton, this had to be taught, and he had to learn how to play big and utilize his God-given ability. Eaton struggled in high school and college and would often try to do too much on the floor. This changed when young Mark met Wilt Chamberlain at UCLA, where the two big men had a few practices, and when Wilt gave Eaton life-altering free advice. Stop trying to chase the smaller players. Your job is to guard the basket. That's something you can be really good at, Chamberlain said. And this advice changed the course of Eaton's career and turned him into one of the most dominant shot blockers the game has ever seen. Over his first seven seasons, Eaton averaged 4.2 swats per game, and his career-high 5.6 blocks in 1985 remains an NBA record for a single season. Eaton led the league in rejections four times, which earned him two Defensive Player of the Year awards, and the 3.5 block per game average is still the all-time NBA record that will likely never get broken. Before we proceed to the best shot blocker in NBA history, an honorable mention goes to Tim Duncan, who was one of just six players with over 3,000 blocked shots and is also the all-time playoff leader in total blocks. We also can't forget Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain, who would probably be at the top of all blocking leaderboards if the league tracked blocks when they played. Number 1. Hakeem Olajuwon Hakeem made the low post game look like art, and he's most famous for his unstoppable dream shake. Olajuwon is also one of those rare players whose defense could match his spectacular offense. What was most fascinating about Hakeem was his speed. His hands, feet, jumping, everything he did, he did extremely fast, like a guard in a center's body. This was best shown on the Hakeem giveth and Hakeem taketh away block on Rod Strickland, when Olajuwon lost the ball and then miraculously recovered for a spectacular rejection. Hakeem had one of the fastest second or third jumps in NBA history. Even when somebody pump faked him, as soon as his feet touched the ground, Lajuan was already in the air again, ready to block another shot. Dream is also one of only four players in NBA history that recorded a quadruple double, and the only one who has done it more than once. Lajuan led the league in blocks per game on three different occasions, and he has four seasons in the top 20 marks for single season blocks per game. Hakeem won two Defensive Player of the Year awards in 1993 and 94, during his absolute peak as a player. In the 94 finals against Patrick Ewing and the Knicks, Hakeem averaged four blocks per game, keeping Ewing under 36% shooting and blocking John Stark's potential championship winner in Game 6. 
Olajuwon blocked at least three shots in a whopping 757 games of the regular season and playoffs, the most in NBA history. He's the all-time playoff leader in blocks per game, one of only three players that averaged more than three blocks for his career, and he remains the all-time leader in total blocks with 3,830 rejections, 540 more than the next person on the list. 